And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at one of the Funkoverse games. Uh, Funkoverse is all the same game, you can mix everything together, and if you want to know my thoughts on it, go watch my original review of it. Today I'm just talking about the Jurassic Park four-player pack. There's actually two Jurassic Park uh, packs. There's another one with uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm and the T-Rex, and then there's this four-pack here, which has the Raptor in it. Uh, welcome to Jurassic Park. Let's take a look at what's in this box. All right, so there are two boards here. We have the when dinosaurs rolled the earth, the welcome center, really cool uh, motif here with a bunch of walls in the middle. I like the, the way this one's set up. This one's like a maze here, the the raptor confinement area, which looks like it got broken out of in many, many different places, has a really cool look to it. There are four characters that come in this game. We have Dr. Alan Grant, we have Dr. Ellie Sattler, we have Ray Arnold, and then we have the Raptor. We'll talk about the cute Raptor first. The Raptor has a talent leap where it can jump at a character and then do a challenge to them. And it gets extra challenges here for ambush tokens and allies next to somebody else, kind of simulating that there are more than one Raptors. And here you can put ambush tokens out. Ambush tokens here are included with the game. They can be attacked. You can see they have a defense on them. And at the beginning of the Raptor's turn, you can place her in any of these ambush spots. Remove it, put her there, which gives the Raptor incredible mobility. Now, not nearly as powerful as, say, you know, the T-Rex, but the Raptor is still a pretty neat uh, character to have. There's also a Raptor Claw, which you don't have to equip on the Raptor. It is, but you can equip it on anyone, and you can do one of their challenge abilities without paying the cost. You pay the three here and use this card instead. Now, we have Ray Arnold. Oh, poor Ray. Anyhow, he has a hold on to your butts thing. When he does an interact action, he can move, interact, and give allies this, which basically gives them plus one defense, and they can't be moved by the opponent. That's pretty neat. Also, he can move two and move any number of point markers down the, on the cooldown tracker down by one. I really like that ability. Great support character. Not to mention you can knock him out. Wait, wait, why would you knock yourself out? Because whenever he's knocked out, someone can remove an exhausted marker from the card. Letting them go twice just because Ray decided to knock himself out. There's some neat repercussions about that. Uh, in this... For this Funko, I gave Ray the goggles here. He can do interact actions with markers they can see within two squares. If you do, put the goggles on the two of your cooldown track. That's a neat idea. I like the ability to interact with things from a distance. So that's a cool thing to have. Maybe I could give the goggles to the Raptor. All right, then we have Dr. Ellie uh, Sattler and Dr. Alan Grant. Now, Ellie is another kind of support character, although she can whoop up on everyone within two squares. But she can also run like all get out. She can move four if she's next to somebody else. And if she can, she can challenge someone for three and then shift an ability token or a point marker down by one. So that's neat. And it sounds like she's an attacker, which she is to some degree. But whenever she does an interact or an assist action, she can do an extra basic action. Just a really good... Uh, all-round person having a team, although only one defense. Dr. Alan Grant, he's a, kind of a, they have him as a leader. This give me your hand lets him run around with somebody else. He has a menacing speech that does an attack of three, whatever. And then here he can challenge two and again move a point marker on the, on the track down two. And if it moves it off the track, get a point. Really interesting ability, this excavate thing here. And whenever now he collects a point token, he can move one. So both of these are kind of support characters. They both work together, but if they do, you probably want to bring somebody who has some fighting ability to the team. Here they are, looking all, well, fierce, happy. I'm never really sure what Funko Pops. Uh, I should also mention this game comes with this really cool, the point tokens here are amber, and if you look closely, you can see that there are mosquitoes trapped in the amber, which is a cool thing. And it comes with a bunch of dice, and you have some extra generic characters if you want to play with them. Oh, sorry. It's a great movie. And this is a cool box um, to have in the game, all four of these. Now, here's the thing. If I was only getting one, I would probably get the T-Rex and uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm, because I tend to like those characters, especially Ian Malcolm. But I like the characters in here, too, and I like the special abilities. This has a lot of characters which move tokens down. This is, to me, 
I like all these, for sure. I like all these characters. To me, this would not be one that I would buy just this to play by itself. I would buy it with the T-Rex and, and Dr. Ian Malcolm or with some other people, be, uh, other packs, because this one feels like a bunch of support and interactive people that would be fun to mix with other things. That's what this one feels like, and I especially like the goggles and stuff. Uh, of course, the point of Funko Verse is mixing everything together. You have bring, get the Joker, you know, a, a Talon call, and he goes up against the Raptor who has, you know, the hammer, Harley Quinn's hammer for whatever reason. That's the silliness of Funko Verse, and it works. This set itself is solid. Of course, can be played by itself. Really like the Jurassic Park motif to it, and you get to play with some of the most famous characters. And didn't say to the lines, clever girl, although that character's not in here. Wish he was, but... Can't have everything. That's Funkoverse Strategy Game Jurassic Park. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see y'all next time.